Households using pellets for heating will receive a subsidy of 3,000 zwote, heating oil 2,000 zwote, wood in pieces 1,000 zwote, and liquefied petroleum gas LPG 500 zwote. The cost of government support will amount to 9 billion zwote. In addition, support for coal users is also planned. With all customers, we applied the same mechanism of 40 percent. All these entities will receive verification and compensation for the difference of this amount from the previous heating season versus the amount that is projected for this year, taking into account this 40 percent difference. The recipients of the system heat tariff will also receive assistance. The Energy Regulatory Office is to suspend increases and stabilize heat prices. This is a good solution, and it does not support inflation. This solution causes us to be able to supply households with these needed sources of energy, more or less in the same quantities as they were in the previous year. So here demand is not increased. Rising gas and coal prices worsen the economic situation of Polish households. The initiatives taken by the government, such as the reduction of excise tax on gas and fuels, are to help Poles smoothly transition through the heating period. I have mixed feelings when it comes to government solutions because on the one hand, it removes discrimination based on fuel, rightly so, since not only those who burn coal should be supported, but on the other hand, there is no earning census. The recent merger of Orlen with Lotos has led to the creation of a large multi-energy corporation. According to the CEO, Daniel Obajtek, the merger of the companies will positively translate into the Polish economy. This will definitely make a stronger, secure the market, but it will also result in corresponding economic alliances. The prevailing global inflation caused by the war in Ukraine and the effects of the recent coronavirus pandemic is a threat to the stable financial situation of Polish families. The current actions of the government are tangible help in mitigating the effects of the crisis.